Let's learn about one more cognitive bias today. The self-consistency bias. This theory says that people need to be consistent in their beliefs, opinions, and behaviors. And they don't like being inconsistent. And if some kind of inconsistency occurred, people will tend to adjust. They will alter their opinion, or behavior, or even memory, in order to achieve consistency. Why consistency is so important? An example of the self-consistency would be going on a blind date, and not being thrilled about the date, but years later telling people how amazing that date was, after you've fallen in love with the person. In this case, the person actually believes, that years ago he was thrilled about the date, even though the objective reality is different. His memory was altered with time, in order to make more sense in the present. Another example is from the book of Robert Cialdini called The Psychology of Persuasion. The author explains how the need for consistency can be used as a persuasion technique. In his example, based on real events, people living in several neighborhoods were asked to put in their front yards banners promoting safe driving. Most of people said no, and only about 10% agreed to do it. But there was one neighborhood, where most of people, about 70% of them, agreed to have the banner on their yards. The reason is, that just a week ago, people in the same neighborhood were asked to stick a little sticker saying that they support the safe driving campaign on their windows. A tiny sticker on your window is not a big deal, of course. So, most of people agreed to that. And a week later, they also agreed to placing a banner on their yards, because of a need for consistency in behaviors and opinions. Why do we have this need for consistency? Mainly because inconsistency is uncomfortable, sometimes even painful. The self-consistency bias therefore is related to the concept of cognitive dissonance. What is cognitive dissonance? The word dissonance means disaccord, disagreement, lack of harmony in something. Cognitive dissonance is the mental discomfort, often associated with stress and anxiety, experienced by a person who holds two or more contradictory beliefs, ideas, or values, that are contradictory among themselves, or contradict facts, or other people's beliefs and ideas. Remember the ancient Greek fabulist and storyteller called Aesop? He was a wise man who wrote a fable called The Fox and the Grapes. In this fable, a fox tried very hard, but failed to reach a bunch of grapes. After such failure the fox decides, that he didn't truly want the grapes, because they are sour anyway. Since then, the expression sour grapes became an idiomatic expression that refers to this kind of rationalization, that people use when they need to cope with cognitive dissonance. You can't achieve something? Your brain is likely to develop an attitude that what you wanted to achieve wasn't important, or wasn't good anyway. You failed a task? Your brain is likely to develop a theory that the objective wasn't feasible anyway, or that the circumstances were all against you. Because otherwise, you have to live with an inconsistency between your self-esteem, and the facts that challenge it. So, people rationalize, alter their opinions, attitudes, behavior, and even memory, in order to resolve inconsistency, that sometimes can hurt. That's all about self-consistency bias and cognitive dissonance. Now please proceed to the next learning material.